Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. My name is Pepelo Innocent Msomi. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm also a qualified builder, transforming spaces through math construction. Today, we are in the Southwestern Township. We're here to build the famous back room. I still have my back room back at home. If you love that type of content, please do subscribe, hit like, share the video and do comment. Enjoy. So before we dig our trenches, we mark out the foundation using red sand. It's a lot cheaper than using cement. This unit is six by three meters with a built-in bathroom. We start by measuring and marking the corners with the peg according to the building plan. Now we check that all corners are perfect using the set square. Once we are happy, we pull strings tight along between the pegs to outline the walls. Now we pour red sand along the string lines to show where the trenches will go. Our trenches are 400 millimeters wide and 400 millimeters deep. So we dig carefully within the red sand lines to keep everything straight and very neat. We make sure that the base stays level using a spirit level and a straight edge as we go. A level trench makes the concrete footing stronger and saves cement later. We could have used a TLB machine, but this would have cost us 4,000 Rand per day. It's much suitable for your bigger projects on rocky soil. The other thing is that unemployment is quite high in our country. So giving the local gents a job helps to put something in their pockets and the trenches are still dug perfectly fine. Next, we build the strip footings, forming the structural base of the foundation. We use six bag of Afrisem, 42.5 Newton cement at 105 Rand each, and two meters cube of the crusher mix, each costing 400 per meter. This totals to 800 bucks. The concrete was mixed manually with less than three well barrels of crusher mix per bag of cement. This is to provide sufficient strength, given that no steel reinforcement was used here. If your soil is highly unstable, and you also later want to renovate to a double story setup, please do make sure that you install steel reinforcement to ensure that your foundation can support the necessary load. Since this is a small unit of only 18 square meters, we didn't need a concrete mixer or ready mix that is delivered with the trucks. For those that are interested, again, ready mix concrete will cost you 1,500 per meter cube delivered and pumped to the location where you want it to actually pour. Once we poured this, the strip footings were left to cure for three days. This is where you must appreciate those delays where no work is being done, especially if you are doing a slab, you've got to give it your 21 days in that case. But in this case, it was just three days. It is important to keep the strip footings moist during this period so make sure to water them often. After the footings had set, we built the foundation box using 300 Mexi bricks, costing 3 Rand 80 cents each. We use three bags of cement amounting to 315 rands for the mortar alongside with the brick force which is just 50 rand per roll just to reinforce your masonry units at least every second line. The one meter cube of building sand costs 300 bucks.
The foundation box had a minimum height of 300 millimeters above the lowest ground level. This raises the structure higher above the ground to protect it from rain-induced floods, termites, and your ground moisture. Next is the filling and compacting. We filled the foundation with three cubic meters of compactable soil and compacted it thoroughly layer by layer. This was done using a compactor which is very very efficient and impactful. A compactor rental should cost you around 450 rands per day. In addition, add 100 bucks for 4 liters of petrol. Proper compaction ensures solid and stable base that prevents cracking and settlement over time. Before the surface bed was poured, we laid the damp-proof membrane plastic sheet across the area. This sheet costs around 500 bucks, but it is quite large, extending 30 meters and 3 meters wide. We will use the remaining sheets for other projects later. The plastic prevents moisture from seeping into the strip footings and rising onto the surface slab and walls, causing some damp issues. And On top of this plastic, we placed your 6 mil thick mesh wire costing 720 rand for strength reinforcement and cracking control. The mesh must be placed on plastic chairs that enable the concrete to occupy the areas below it. Before preparing to pour the slab, we installed plumbing pipes for the basin and shower, costing around 390 rand. All pipes were positioned and tested for any leaks before the concrete work was done. This step saves time and avoid costly rework later. Plumbing is a lot neater when hidden within the structure, but make sure that there are no leaks. The surface bed concrete was mixed manually using 10 bags of AfriSem 42.5 Newton cement and less than 3 wheelbarrows of sand and stone per bag. Again, this is to ensure a very strong mixture in the regions of 20 MPa. The mixture is evenly spread out and a spirit level is used to check that it doesn't slope. After leveling, the slab is allowed to cure slowly, forming a durable surface ready for the superstructure. So, that's how we build a strong, moist protected foundation for a 6x3 rental unit in the townships with the bathroom using manual mix that is rich, cost effective and built to last from 400 mil wide trenches and 300 mil raising from the ground level. Every step was done with care and precision to handle your conditions of the soil. Once again, if you love this type of content, please do subscribe, share the video, like, comment. We are still out there transforming spaces with math construction. Take care.